Good evening and welcome to our service of Compline. In the monastic tradition of the Christian faith, there is a liturgical principle called the sanctification of time. And basically what that means is that any time is appropriate to praise and worship God. So that from the monastic tradition, our current prayer book has adopted many of those services that took place all around the day, throughout the day, throughout the night. And today we still retain morning prayer and noonday prayer, evening prayer, and then finally Compline, which is a service uh, that was offered up just before the monks will go to bed. I know that 6.30 doesn't seem like it's time to go to bed, unless, you know, some days that maybe it does feel that way. But this service is a nice quiet service, and it is an opportunity to, to finish the day off uh, feeling rounded, feeling uh, uh, grounded in prayer. I'm just saying goodbye. One of our parishioners who's moving away, uh, Mac McGarrity, just stopped in to say hello. So uh, Mac is in the process of moving uh, to Virginia. So we say goodbye to him. So I uh, invite you to join me as we pray tonight. Uh, tonight's service uh, begins on page 127 in the prayer book, if you have a prayer book. Or you can go to our website, www.cckqp.net, and you can also download the bulletin. It's listed as Compline for May the 28th. So we begin our service. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all of our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. This evening, please join me as we pray together Psalm 91, which is found on page 129 in the prayer book, Psalm 91. And because of the artificial nature of, of the digital world, let us go ahead and we'll pray this in unison. Enjoy it in any way that's most comfortable for you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High abides under the shadow of the Almighty. He shall say to the Lord, You are my refuge and my stronghold, my God in whom I put my trust. He shall deliver you from the snare of the hunter and from the deadly pestilence. He shall cover you with his pinions, and you shall find refuge under his wings. His faithfulness shall be a shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of any terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, of the plague that stalks in the darkness, nor of the sickness that lays waste at midday. A thousand shall fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Your eyes have only to behold, to see the reward of the wicked. Because you have made the Lord your refuge and the Most High your habitation, there shall no evil happen to you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. 
for he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. They shall bear you in their hands, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and adder, and you shall trample the young lion and the serpent under your feet, because he is bound to me in love. Therefore will I deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I am with him in trouble. I will rescue him and bring him to honor. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our lesson this evening can be found on page 131. And at times of stress, at times of anxiety, at times when we feel lonely and isolated, which, you know, pick a moment, pick a day, many of us are feeling these various emotions. Uh, this particular passage from Matthew's Gospel uh, seems to speak to me and speak, I think, to the moment we're in. And Jesus says, Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thanks be to God. I invite you to please join me on your screen. You will find the words to a very simple hymn. This hymn is often used in the Episcopal Church uh, as the Sanctus, you know, during the Holy Eucharist. Uh, it is very simple. It comes from a, a, one of our Episcopal hymnals that we uh, use occasionally in the bulletin, which is called Wonder, Love, and Praise. And it simply is holy, holy, holy. Please join me. We'll sing this three times. Holy, 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 my heart, my heart adores you. My heart is glad to say the words you are holy, Lord. Oh, Resume our service back in the prayer book on page 132. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy and praying in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cries come to you. Let us pray. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Visit this place, O Lord, and drive far from it all snares of the enemy. Let your holy angels dwell with us to preserve us in peace, and let your blessing be upon us always through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. This is a prayer, finally, the third collect for this evening is a prayer that is just a very comforting prayer in the evening, before bed, any time in the evening, because it especially reminds us that as we sleep, as we try to get rest and comfort, that there are a lot of people still awake, a lot of people still trying to take care of us in the world, the police officers, people behind the scenes in stores, trying to restock shelves. So there's lots of activity still that goes on while we try to rest. And this uh, prayer reminds me of that. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night. And give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And then finally, at the very bottom of page 134. Guide us waking, O Lord and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And together we say the song of Simeon. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. And once again we say, guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. And as we come to the end of this service, I invite you to join me once again for one more song. As we are, as I heard someone in one of my clergy meetings describe this as in between time, you know, the time between Ascension Day and Pentecost as we are waiting for the promised Holy Spirit to come, the gift of the Spirit. Uh, it was sort of, uh, someone talked about it as sort of being the no man's land in between these two feast days. Uh, I invite you to join me as we, we anticipate and pray for the coming of the Spirit on Pentecost Sunday, just a few days away. And it is again another hymn from Wonder, Love and Praise, hymn number 742, and it's called Loving Spirit. just dim enough in the church right now that I think I need a little bit of a little bit of help. There we go. Loving spirit, loving spirit, you have chosen me to be. You have drawn me to your wonder. You have said sign on me. Like a mother, you enfold me, hold my life within your own. Feed me with your very body, for me of your flesh and bone. Like a 
loving spirit, loving spirit, you have chosen me to be. You have drawn me to your wonder. You have set your sign on me. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. Dear friends, thank you for praying with me this evening. Thank you for joining me as we come together and create sacred and holy community uh, during this time in the wilderness. Uh, please uh, join us as we come together virtually, online, uh, our streaming service for Pentecost Sunday will be uh, at 10 o'clock. And you can visit us or see, uh, tune into our, uh, our stream uh, via YouTube or via our uh, Facebook page or on Twitter. So dear friends, thank you and good night.